I got this. Yeah, focus on the voice, and they'll try to move you in. More left, more left. They can all do that. More left, yeah. more left. More right. left. <laughs> and by the way, the other thing you got to remember with the peacock bass is, unlike the bonefish, once they're on the track, they're on the track. The peacocks will meander. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the air, it might seem confusing, and all of a sudden they're going left. No, 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 right, 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 right. It's not because they forgot the directions, although they, they may have. They do. They, you know, but I get they, the they sense weird movement. with these fish, you don't have to drop it right in front of their nose. They spin around for the fly. In 1912, after losing his bid for a third presidential term, Theodore Roosevelt set out on an expedition seeking adventure and challenge. Our expedition, while full of adventure, was a bit more tame. It began in the town of Manaus, which sits upon the confluence of the River Negro and River Solemnas to form the Amazon River. Manaus was known as the Paris of the Jungle, complete with a Baroque opera house built by the rubber barons on the backs of the enslaved indigenous peoples. The Agua Boa, which means beautiful river, is one of the thousands of tributaries that feed the Amazon River. Our home for the week, the Agua Boa Lodge, sits upon a 20-foot crest above the river and its airship is the only hint of civilization in a sea of green jungle. That's fun. Yep. I mean, I have, it, it, to me, I mean, the casting and so on, part of it is fun because you're fishing complicated structure, which is fun, so you still have to be able to be really accurate in your cast, be able to park it between, you know, two trees and weigh in and drop it in. Uh, but you're fishing to a fishy spot versus looking for a bone fish and dropping well, it. Well, the other thing it's is, look, I would, I would view every cast as a tune-up. Okay, sure, sure. I mean, yeah. if you're, every single time you cast, if you shoot at a ray or a little peacock or uh -huh. a stick, Take every ready. single cast is an opportunity to lay it in there right. Yeah. And then if you cast poorly at that ray, figure out why. Because soon enough there's going to be a big dog rolling over the sand. And you want to give yourself the best opportunity to lay the fly. Yeah, help me out with the names again because I'm still... So we've got butterfly I've got and spotted I've got. And what's Asu. the other... Aku. Aku, yeah. Because it was fine. I mean, so today... Bob and I, and we, we've been fed, we get, and he stopped and said, this is a place where there are Aku, this is a good spot for that, and that's where yeah, I got one. And, it, and it, was, my, it was a drop off, it was deeper water, it was like six, eight feet versus the, yep. and I got one, it was there. So do they, the bigger fish, deeper water sometimes, or no? Yeah, or? yeah maybe. But maybe not. I like peacock. It's, I like I like peacock too. Arapaima is my my favorite fish because the def, definitely peacock. I catch a lot of peacocks in my in my in my videos. Big ones, big ones. You're going forward, and here I am upright. My rod stopped here. Your body did. Mm -hmm. Just want to see what the rod does. Yeah, mm -hmm. and now when you're coming back, you're well. You're already you're, dead because people dead. only do it on the last cast. Mm -hmm. So no one goes. A few people oh, they shouldn't. Or, yeah, yeah, but yeah. People cast. Back in the boat. Cast. Throw. What? Did you you're get it? They, they, fucking right. They stop their they stop their rod in the right position, but they just killed all their line speed. You're right. Not because they did anything different with the arm. They thrust their body forward. I do that. There's no question. You gotta stop doing that. And uh, the best way to do that, and also if your back gets tired, mm -hmm. it feels awkward to change which foot is forward. Okay. Yes. Arapaima's more fat fish. Arwana's skinny. Arapaima like Arapaima like living in not like a current water, like the mud, like this lake.
There is nothing better than a cold beer on the ride back to the lodge. This is the time to decompress and appreciate the pristine beauty of the river. There is no evidence of human presence here. There is no plastic or garbage, as is so often the case in some of the most remote regions of the planet where we have fished. We timed our trip to coincide with the low water levels so we could spend more time sight fishing. The height of the river banks revealed the 30-foot rise of the river during the rainy season. Every day we would be met at the dock by the lodge manager Carlos and host Charlie, where Augusto would hand us an ice cold caipareña. As we made our way up the bank to our cabanas, Adam would meet us and serve us hors d'oeuvres. Our evening routine was to cool off in the pool, sipping caipareñas and enjoying the sunset. Around 7 p.m. we would head to the lodge for dinner and swap fishing stories about the one that got away. After dinner, we would retire to the veranda for after dinner drinks to discuss politics and casting. So one comment that I had from uh, uh, Kaboko today was when I was casting, it says, you're rocking the boat, don't rock the boat. Mm -hmm. So it made me not move my body because I'm moving my body thinking I'm getting more, no. I guess I'm thinking I'm getting more line speed or something. Although here, I mean, one no, of the no, but it's a, it's a, you're a dude. Dudes are like, Ooh, you know, yeah. you want to like, and, and that's, that's all of that. It's muscling. And, right. And you, you want to be smooth. We were talking about smooth last night. Just say the word smooth on your last cast. Just go smooth. Yep. Lay it out there. Yep. And don't worry about your left hand. The killer, the killer in casting as you extend the distance of your line is keeping your whole hand down here, mm -hmm. right? So you have a lot of stuff that can go wrong in a cast. And if oh, yeah. your left hand's down here and you're doing the right thing in terms of keeping tension on the line because you you always have a handle on your line when your rod hand's in motion, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Always. Yeah. And so even if you're double hauling, and so I'm, let's say I even have a good patient back cast. So the line's loading, and I'm starting to go forward, right? I'm a short guy. This is only like three and a half feet. But you gotta travel most of that slack that you have between your hands before you even get any purchase on the line you wanna throw forward. So whether you're hauling or not, keep... One of the highlights of the week was our guides casting competition. It was a chance for them to show us their skill and build upon our camaraderie. The course was a lot harder than it looked. All right, two casts of this for a point each. <laughs> two casts of the green one for two points each. Between the lights for a point. Between the second set of lights for two points. Third set of lights for three points. And then a backhand cast back here for four points. Then they shoot for long. They get two casts for the longest distance, and we'll mark those. The longest cast gets three points, second longest two, third longest one point. Five, six, seven, eight. So we don't have a clear winner. Come on, let's go, man. <laughs> All right. Nice job. Nice job. Congratulations. Nunca experimentou a cachaça Salinas? Experimente agora. É a melhor cachaça do Brasil que faz a melhor caipirinha do mundo. Prove Cachaça Salinas, você vai gostar. Para muitos é conhecido como Salinas. A buceta. <risos> Bacaba. Bacaba. Uh, I, I was casting to what were some peacock in shallow water that you could see. So, uh, and I apparently wasn't doing it right. And so he came up and he said, I show you. And he came up and he stood right next to me and shouted and showed me how to do it better. And then he cast and he cast and he cast. <laughs> and the fish didn't, the same fucking fish didn't take. He said, <laughs> and he said, oh, they're not biting. <laughs> I have to admit that I was a bit skeptical about freshwater fly fishing for peacock bass. After all, I am primarily a saltwater guy. However, we all shared the same sentiment that this was one of the best fishing trips we have ever taken. 
The fishing was epic, the lodge was comfortable, the food was satisfying. What more could you ask for? Yeah.